All right, so VA math is, is goofy, and the higher your VA disability rating is, uh, the harder it's going to be to get things to add up for you. So let's say you have a 90% rating. That means you're either 85, 86, 87, 88, or 89, rounded up to 90, or you're 90, or you're 91, 92, 93, 94, rounded down to 90. So let's say you have a 92% disability rating. You should figure out where your rating is in the first place uh, without the rounding going on so you know how much farther you have to go. So if you're at 92% and you're trying to get to 100, you need to get to 95. At this level, at 92%, you're going to need a 30% rating or higher to get over the 95 mark. 10% uh, isn't going to get it. You're going to need 30. So some 30% ratings could be GERD, IBS, migraines, mental health. There's a bunch of them. Those are just a few of them. So if you're stuck in the, in the low 90s, uh, you're going to want 30, 40, or 50 more percent. So make sure you get familiar with the combined ratings table so you can figure out how to calculate your disabilities. You're going to want to take your bilateral first, and then you're going to calculate from the uh, highest to the lowest. If the combines rating table uh, doesn't make sense for you, there's a lot of good online disability calculators that'll do the same thing. And you have to like go over here and, and go down here. And okay, now I'm at, at 70 at this intersection. It, it, it gets a little goofy. Um, you could do it that way or a disability calculator. But I hate this about the VA and uh, we'll see where it goes from here. I don't uh, suspect it's going to change anytime soon. I 